Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Lichtownik, and I am the Director of the Governmental Relations Division for the American Veterinary Medical Association in Washington, D.C. My division advocates on behalf of the profession up on Capitol Hill and in the executive branch of government. Today, I'd like to talk to you about advocacy, more specifically, how you can be an effective advocate for the profession. Recently, a survey was done of members of Congress and their staff asking them what motivates them to make a specific decision on an issue or a piece of legislation, whether or not they should support it or not support it. The top five reasons given by the members of Congress as things that have a positive influence on their decision making are all things that are personal contact from a constituent. They range from anything as, such as a phone call from the constituent, to a constituent visit, to the constituent going to a town hall meeting and talking to that member about what's important to him or her. Many times, pieces of legislation have consequences. And often, members of Congress don't realize what those consequences are until you, as their constituent and the expert in veterinary medicine, come in to talk to them about the specific piece of legislation. How will it impact your business? How will it impact animal health and welfare? How will it impact how you practice veterinary medicine? And how will it impact public health? Members of Congress are looking to you as experts in veterinary medicine to help them make a decision on a piece of legislation. Everybody has a personal story to tell, and that's what members of Congress want to hear. You have more power than you think. So how can you get involved? Well, the simplest thing is to join the AVMA Congressional Advocacy Network, or AVMA CAN. AVMA CAN is composed of members like yourself who have an interest in advocating for the veterinary profession. AVMA CAN members receive frequent updates about legislation that the AVMA is following. We often send out action alerts to AVMA CAM members, asking them to contact their members of Congress on a specific piece of legislation. The AVMA GRD also has Facebook pages and Twitter feeds, where we keep AVMA members updated about what's going on here in Washington, DC. You don't have to come to Washington, DC to make a visit. Call your member of Congress and their staffs to discuss the issue. Visit with your member of Congress when they're home in their district office. Or better yet, invite that member of Congress to your clinic to visit with you and your staff to learn more about veterinary medicine and your business. You, our members, are our greatest asset as we advocate for our profession in Washington, DC. Your personal stories and personal relationships with members of Congress will make a difference. Together, we can strengthen our voice and advance the veterinary profession on Capitol Hill.